Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your reading. This is for Aquarius placements, sun, moon, rising, sun, moon, and rising. Uh, take what resonates to you, what doesn't. Be sure to flip the script. Place yourself whatever side of the story you're on. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this could be playing out from your point of view. Okay, so what's your Aquarius placement, sun, moon, and rising? We have tales, the talesmen. You are destined to succeed. So you're so something, whether it's it doesn't seem that way or not, Aquarius, you're gonna you're meant to be successful at something, or you are you, you are, okay? We got the green man, the forces of nature favor you. So some of you guys can be really earthy, you could like plants, okay? You could like to be out in nature a lot. Uh yeah. Green could be your favorite color, blue, orange maybe. And we got air. Seek a union of mind and spirit that wanted to come out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, you know what? It slipped out, but it, it, let's see. I don't like this. Uh, sat, the sat year, rivalry and indulgence. I think Scorpio got this re this card, or was it Capricorn? So you could have Capricorn placements. You could be done with a Capricorn. Yeah, and then we have or Scorpio. You may have Scorpio placements, and we have Dagger, conflict and danger lie in wait. So, and then we have Medusa, jealousy leads to downfall. So you may have people around you that are jealous of you, Aquarius, envy, envious. What's new, right? What is fucking new? What's this? You are destined to succeed. The praise. Yeah, three of wands. You don't see something. You guys could be a bit pessimistic about something, or you don't see something coming, but it is. You don't. You may not see your ships coming in. You may not see how something's gonna work in your favor, but it is. Okay. Maybe you're not meant to see it. All right. Or you guys need to change your view. Yeah, something is manifesting. Some of you guys, this could be a child. I'm getting it maybe a boy. Okay, this is, or you guys are going to be getting pregnant uh, very fast, very quick. We got Virgo energy here. Aquarius, Aries is here as well. What's this? Something that you're working on. This could be a creative project. Something is growing. Something is, it, it's it's growth here. It's, it's It has a, or it has a potential to grow. But you're going to have to, some of you guys are going to have to change your viewpoint. You guys could be being a bit pessimistic and narrow-minded. You're going to have to, you know, let's just be a justice to succeed. We got justice in reverse. Libra energy. And then we have two of pentacles in reverse. So you may have to drop something in order for this to be, for this to work. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys are feeling impatient. Some of you guys could be a bit out of balance emotionally. Some of you guys are also having a hard time going with the flow. I'm also getting dehydration. Make sure you're drinking enough water, okay? Yeah, somebody could be very temperamental, short-tempered, a bit unhinged, all right? Somebody's also maybe on the wrong path here. Yeah, somebody could be drinking it a lot. and Yeah, somebody could be in their feelings a lot, emotionally unstable, or somebody's just drinking a lot here to cope. Just be careful because somebody's doing something in excess, okay? What's this? We are wrong in reverse. Yeah, Page of Pentacles wanted to come out in reverse. So there's there could be unsuccessful plans, or maybe you guys are fearing something's going to be unsuccessful. You think something's not going to go through. It's not going to happen. You're thinking it's going to fail. Okay, but what's this do you want in reverse? I mean, it's Ace of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, four of pentacles. You're going to have to release your grip on something here. We got the death card, Scorpio energy. Yes, there's something that you need to accept here, Aquarius. Or somebody's having a hard time accepting something or letting somebody go. You may have kids with this person. You may have you may have kids with this person or they have kids. Okay, but um, 
Yeah, somebody's having a hard time letting something or somebody go. Some of you guys, this could be a loss of money as well. Because we got page of pentacles in reverse, four of pentacles in reverse, two of pentacles in reverse. Maybe you guys got to pay a lot of money back in taxes or some type of legal or court fees. What happened, mama? <laughs> yeah, what's this? What's this for principles? Yeah, Queen of Cups, a lot of y'all are in y'all feelings about something. A lot of you guys are in your feelings. Some of you guys may need to, before you lose your shit, go talk to somebody. This could be somebody's baby mother or somebody's mom, ex, I don't know. But somebody here is just, or this could be you that's just in your feelings Somebody here has to open up about their feelings as well. I feel like somebody here kind of keeps, if you're used to keeping your feelings to yourself or not feeling your feelings, you're going to be forced to face your feelings. Something could be happening. You, there could be a loss, okay? A loss of God, hopefully not a child or something like that that could have somebody in their feelings. Somebody's going to have no choice but to feel their feelings with something. But I'm getting something that, or if it's not that, it's like, there's on something that's there's a plan or something that was thought out or whatever that's unsuccessful it, and it's just gonna leave uh. somebody needs to open up emotionally but I, I you know what all this going on Aquarius I feel like you guys really don't see something coming in you don't see some of you guys aren't some of you guys are just some of you guys need to focus on some more gratitude focus on what you have not what you don't have don't focus on what's not working. Focus on what is. Because something is growing here. Something is taking off. It's happening. It could be slowly. but Or at the very least, something has the potential to grow. Some of you guys could be a bit overwhelmed with things. You may have a lot on your plate. Okay. What's this Ace of Wands? Oops, sorry guys. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. So this could be a new job. This could be a creative project. Maybe you're working with others. This could be like a team of three of you guys here, two to three people. Okay. This could be um it's work. It's some type of work. It's some form of work. Right, so you guys could be getting a new job. Some of you guys have like very creative art, you know, something that's creative and artsy that you do. Some of you guys are good drawers, you're good artists, painters, good writers. Some of you guys are great teachers. You know, you guys are good students, okay? You know, you, you, especially if you're doing something you love, is easy. But something is gonna work out for you, Aquarius. Something that could be coming back around. Some, you know, you're gonna have to trust your judgment or something something is you're gonna it's like your answer you're you're on you're supposed to answer your something is your divine calling something that you're meant to do here and it's to help other people in some capacity here you guys may have leave if it's if you guys have leave replacements you may you may be here to help you may be here to stand up for people and help people get justice whether it's showing them how to heal themselves or something here some of you guys could be lawyers okay what's this three of principles here Oh my God, my cards are falling. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something's going to be taking off. Some of you guys could be networking with other people. It's going to take off, but it's going to take off slowly. So be patient, Taurus. Be pa I, mean, I mean, sorry, Taurus, wow, Aquarius. Be patient, Aquarius. Be patient. Something you're going to have to, in order for this to work, especially if this is a creative project, you're going to have to be disciplined. You're going to have to be loyal. I mean, well, yeah, maybe that too gonna have to be loyal to this whatever this is to this team to this person to this this work that you're doing it's gonna take time you're gonna have to be dedicated and fully committed to it Pay, um eight of pentacles somebody could be in a dead-end job somebody could be overworking or somebody's not getting paid for what they're worth some of you guys need to up your prices some of you guys could be astrologers healers 
The star card is your energy. Somebody here, yeah, somebody here is working overtime. I feel like somebody here is doing something overtime or in excess to escape something. That's the best way I can put it. So overworking, overstudying, trying to bury their head in books. Somebody's also not really good at what they do, so there needs to be more practice. There may need to be some more help. You could be mentoring someone or you may or somebody could be mentoring you. It's okay to ask for help. Please, nobody's above help. Okay, so what's this? Um, justice in reverse. Yeah, page of swords here. Make sure you get all your documentations for something. This could be for a court issue here. Okay, maybe some of you guys could be seeking legal counsel, legal advice for something. I feel like you're also going to be watching somebody firsthand get karma that they... Somebody's going to be watching somebody firsthand get karma. Page of Swords. Yeah, this could be an Aries or a father figure or somebody that you could have been married to. Or this could be a boss or a manager, an old manager or something. This person could have bullied you or been really unfair to you. And now this person may want you to come back to the company. Or you're going to be able to just watch firsthand this person get their karma. Empress Aries energy. So this could be an Aries. What's somebody could have lied about something? What's this uh, Emperor here? You could be seeing how control. You could be seeing how controlling someone is. Okay. You could be dealing with a Virgo with this Hermit card. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to control you. Somebody wants you codependent on them, Aquarius. And that's not your energy. That's not that's not you. You're not you're not codependent. Okay, what's this? Hermit. Yeah, the Death card, Scorpio energy here. I'll be back. All right, Aquarius, yeah. I also feel like... Mm, some of you guys are taking the lead on something. You're taking the lead to change something, whether it's about yourself or about a situation. Okay? Or you're needing to, at least. At the very least, you need to. Yeah, I feel like you guys are learning. You guys have learned the cause and effect of things that like you guys learned something or you are learning that and it's causing you guys to kind of it's causing or this is someone else somebody is learning the cause and effect of things negatively somebody could be on a negative side of karma like they could have made poor decisions therefore had suffered poor consequences so somebody here is learning to grow up and learning to mature learning to create more structure in their life learning to be more accountable you know somebody here is learning how to make um the tough decisions and how to not be how to embrace change and be confident with change and things like that this could be you or your person could be your twin if you believe if you subscribe to that what's this two pentacles what's the death card and what's the death card about Yeah, strength, Leo energy. <laughs> so yeah, it could have it could have took a lot of strength for you guys to put an end to something. But I I want to go back to this because it keeps I can't stop talking about it. Aquarius, you guys are destined to succeed at something, and I'm I'm bringing this back because I feel like a lot of you guys have either given up on something you wanted to do something you've been passionate about. Or you just feel like it's just maybe it's coming in too slow, but it's going to come. It's coming in, but it's just it's taking its time and it's taking its time for a reason. Maybe you guys need to get more help. Maybe you guys need a network. Maybe you guys need to put yourself out there. Maybe you guys need to put your work out there more. You know, this could be anything, right? It could be more. I'm getting something creative, but it's going to take full commitment. It's going to take time. Okay, you are you are destined to succeed. Um, Aquarius, I just wanted to put that out there and whatever you choose to do. This is two of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Some of you guys could feel overwhelmed. Yeah, the star card, your energy. Yeah, and listen, yes, you guys are the stars. You guys are meant. Some of you guys are meant to be well known. 
some of you guys could be astrologers, but some of you guys could be meant. Some of you guys are meant to be well, world renowned Aquarius. You're meant to be known all over the world. You guys are natural born stars. You guys have that star quality. You guys are Leo's sister sign. You guys have that it factor about you guys. Without you just with, while you, with you just being your authentic self. That's all it takes. It's just you guys being your authentic selves. That's all you have. That's all it takes. That's all it's gonna take for you to succeed is to commit fully. So and steady win the race and just be your authentic self. That's it. You don't have to do much, Aquarius. You never had to do much. You never had to do too much. Some of you guys, if you've been feeling off kilter, out of balance, because this could be hormone imbalances or just feeling moody, you're going to, I do see you guys feeling better. If you haven't been feeling well, you will be feeling better. What's the star card? Some of you guys could be finding out that you're pregnant. Empress, Taurus, Libra energy here, okay? Yeah, some of you guys could be finding out that you're pregnant here. Or there, yeah, there's some... What's this, Empress? Yeah, the Seven of Swords is here. You could be keeping this to yourself. Or I just feel like there's going to be a pregnancy announcement soon here. Okay, or some of you guys could just be keeping it to yourself. Somebody could, yeah. You guys could be trying to keep this to yourself. Or keep whatever you're working on or keep whatever you're trying to grow to yourself. Or keep whatever you're trying to heal from or from a loss. Whatever it is, you could be keeping it to yourself. There could be a mother figure here that's getting caught red-handed doing something. This could be somebody's baby mother, somebody's mom, ex-wife, wife, or whatever. Somebody's getting caught red-handed doing something. Okay, I just want to put that out there. What's this? The forces of uh, the forces of nature favor you. I also feel like you guys are stepping into that. Oh, we got the emperor and the empress. So some of you guys are in a twin flame connection. Some of you guys could be married. Okay, this could be a twin, or this could be a high level soulmate, or just your divine counterpart. Somebody that's on your level. Somebody could be realizing that you are their empress or that you are the empress. Somebody could have been holding back. Weak, somebody could have been weak-willed. So they could have succumbed to addictions and all types of petty shit due to insecurity, lack of courage, and, you know, fear, weakness. But I feel like a lot of you guys are starting to discover who you are. If you haven't, what's the nature, what's the force of the nature for you? you? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys uh, need to eat more at home, eat more greens. Some of you guys may grow your food. You could be gardeners, farmers. Okay, yeah. Queen of Swords is here. Somebody here, yeah. So some of you guys, somebody here could be bitter. Somebody's codependent on somebody, maybe financially or just emotionally. I just feel like somebody here is very bitter. This could be somebody's ex, a mother figure, a sibling, an older sister, aunt. A mother, a mother-in-law, somebody here is very bitter. Somebody also could be bitter and jealous of your independence. Somebody here doesn't like how things just come naturally. Maybe you guys, some of you guys have green thumbs. You're good with plants. You're good with nature. You're good with money. You're good with being self-sufficient. You're good with being abundant. Somebody hates that. Somebody's bitter. They're jealous. Uh, but they can't compete. There's, you can't compete where you don't compare. What's the forces of nature you know, you're favored and somebody knows that. And it's like, you, you're not even looking at this person. Yeah, you're minding your fucking business. Two of swords in reverse, some moon and Libra energy. You're minding your fucking business. You're not even paying something no mind. Could have Libra placement. You're not paying nobody no mind. Somebody here could be out of stamina. I feel like somebody's codependent. Somebody, you know, be careful that of you guys getting yourselves in a financial bind by overspending money that you don't have. Some of you guys think you have more money than you actually do. So just be mindful of that, okay? Uh, we got Virgo, Libra, Cusp here, and Gemini, Cancer, Cusp with the Queen of Cups. <laughs> yeah, there's a decision. Somebody, yeah, so if you don't be surprised if you get an angry text message from somebody. Somebody here may want to, somebody wants to text you, Dave. Somebody wants to give you a piece of their mind. But uh, this is somebody here. This Queen of Swords is a liar. They're a bitch. They're bitter. They're mean. They're cold. They're nasty. They yell a lot. They curse a lot. This is somebody that's verbally abusive. Okay, somebody could be trying to, 
you guys could be forming a partnership with someone and someone's ex or a mother or a mother whoever could be trying to come in and tell you lies or whatever the fuck yeah somebody something's out of stillmate somebody here could be a bit emotional overwhelmed i'm getting we got the two of pentacles two of swords and the two of wands so you could be seeing two 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 okay six can be significant it could be a life path two, a life path six a life path 11 all right what's this nine of pentacles in reverse yeah the devil called the capricorn energy codependency somebody's very codependent somebody yep yeah, nine of yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's losing money. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. Page of pentacles in reverse. Two of pentacles in reverse. The fuck? Somebody's just a, somebody's very codependent. Somebody also didn't get it. So there could have been a loss of funds in some type of investment and some type of contract. So maybe something that was once lucrative, it's not. So there could have been a loss of money here. I'm getting there was no return on this investment. Something was just toxic or something just wasn't it. So somebody could have what's the seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, ace of swords is here. Yeah, somebody's realizing that something was a waste of time. It was toxic. Somebody's realizing that something or somebody is a waste of time. Somebody's getting cut off or ghosted or cursed out. Somebody's going to write somebody a very long text messages or uh, even send voice notes, emails, whatever they got to do to get their point across. They're going to get their point across. Queen of Swords, Queen of Reverse. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person, somebody here is very unhappy. Somebody here is unhappy. Sagittarius Capricorn energy here. Yeah, heavy Sag energy. Yeah, y'all are in some destined past life soulmate connection here. And yeah, Pisces energy. You have somebody here that either this could have been an ex-spouse, an ex, or somebody that you have kids with or your person. They're bitter. They're bitter. Very jealous and bitter. So expect a lot of communication, a lot of back and forth. This person is miserable. They're unhappy. And whoever this Queen of Swords is in reverse, she's selfish. This person only says, they only give advice or they say things that benefit them they don't really care about other people somebody could be lying somebody could be saying that you have sex for money or that you do weird stuff for money or somebody could have said that your person does if you're a man okay but somebody here is miserable they're undesirable they don't feel good about themselves and they're pushing that on you they're trying to project that narrative on you now i cups in reverse somebody's mad because they're not getting what they want Yeah, five of wands. Yeah, ain't no competition. Somebody's up. Yeah, ain't no competition. Now somebody's going to be forced to compromise with you or your person. So now it's like this. Somebody's going to have no choice and they're unhappy about that. They're mad about that. There could be a court decision that's not going to go in their favor now. Okay? Especially if there's kids involved. What's this two of swords in there? Yeah, eight of swords. Somebody's definitely, yep, somebody is trapped in their mind. Sagittarius energy with the temperance in reverse. Yeah, somebody's stuck. Somebody can't make a decision. They don't know. They could be there could be two opposing viewpoints or opinions that somebody doesn't know which to believe. So somebody's overthinking something too much here. Too much. What's this eight of swords? Overthinking. All somebody has to do is to just take uncross their arms, drop the swords take off the blindfolds and look at their surroundings somebody is in somebody is like in denial somebody is putting themselves in this position somebody's putting themselves in a self-inflicted bind that they don't even have to be in okay this is eight of swords yeah temperance in reverse Sagittarius somebody's impatient temperamental somebody could be fucking needing to get put in a fucking straitjacket okay that's for somebody somebody needs to go to some type of mental asylum and get put in a straitjacket or be uh, committed somewhere if this is you Aquarius my part you know god bless but somebody here is temperamental. Somebody's also an antagonist. They like to antagonize people or you. They like to antagonize you. Somebody here is very impatient. Somebody's also going down the wrong path in life. Yeah, what's this temperance? Somebody's also doing something in excess. So there's addictions here. There's need there's something that needs to be moderated. What's this moderation temperance in reverse? Somebody's doing too much or something. Temperance. <laughs> yeah, King of Wands. So this could be a fight. Yeah, you can be doing heavy Sagittarius energy here. Heavy Sag. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. 
yeah you guys could have moved away from this person like this person could have moved away from you or you could have moved away from them or even if you do even if you're not speaking to them it's like you guys have a hard time emotionally disconnecting from them some of you guys are also using travel or using a way to move or travel as a way to escape somebody here could be leaving home could be getting a divorce could be moving somebody could be, could be getting kicked out of a home okay but something's being put on hold here yeah i just feel like somebody needs to get out their head and actually go do something somebody may feel like time is running out the ace of swords is a victory is a clean slate so whatever you thought was a waste of time aquarius is actually you get i said this in your last reading what's been taken will be restored so something is going to be restored for you this is like a continuation of your last reading i just did for you guys You got a fire sign or somebody that's fire sign life that's a bit unstable. They're like very, yeah. Mm. What's this two of wands? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody's going to be giving you a piece of their mind, but this is going to be you. But somebody's also very sensitive. Somebody's in their feelings. It's like somebody just... Somebody acts like they don't have a care in the world, but somebody's actually very scared. They're scared of love. They're scared of getting hurt. They're scared of taking a risk. They're scared of falling too deep. They're scared of not being in control of their feelings. It's like, but they put on this brave face. Okay, what's this Knight of Swords here? Yeah, somebody's going to be coming. Somebody's going to be speaking from a place of emotion. They're going to be like kind of being impulsive and being king and queen of cups. So there's love between you and somebody. You guys are both, you, you and someone are in love with each other. Somebody may need, before somebody reacts, they may need to take a pause, call their th therapist if they have one, or just take a pause and just sit in your feelings before reacting. Somebody needs to sit in their feelings before they react. Because somebody, somebody here is coming in quick. There's, this is quick communication. And somebody's going to be expressing their feelings or saying something to you. Or this is you. Okay, so just, you know, I warned you. Okay? This could be past, present, or future energy. What's this rivalry and indulgence? Nine of Swords, yeah. Somebody is, like, feeling anxious in their head. Somebody's worried about what people are going to think about them. Okay, um, yeah, what's this? Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. Somebody who's going to have to accept something for what it is. There could be a reconciliation. We got the Queen of Wands in reverse. So there could have been a third party with whoever this Queen of Wands is in reverse. Somebody could have got ghosted. What's this? Remedy? Yeah, seven of cups. Somebody's losing sleep. Somebody's um, wake. Somebody's having bad dreams. Could be nightmares. Somebody's unable. It's like somebody did something. Somebody did. Somebody regrets doing something. Somebody regrets being selfish. Somebody's selfishness is catching up to them. So they may want to come in. Expect with expect some type of quick. Somebody's coming in quick with with some type of communication, Aquarius. Or this is you. Okay, this is yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Something could have cost somebody their whole home, their family, their business, their legacy. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, both in reverse. The World Card. Somebody just, somebody isn't learning. Somebody's going to have to either repeat a cycle or something is just, oh, something has not been closed. Something has not been completed. Something is not finished. Something's not finished. What's this Nine of Swords here? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Somebody is, is worried about walking away or someone walking away from them. Okay, somebody may be feeling a bit anxiety on how to leave. You know, somebody here could be trying to figure out how to... Um, it's like almost like somebody doesn't want to be in this commitment, this job, this relationship, this marriage anymore. But they don't know how to walk away. Like they know what they need to do. They know how they feel, but they don't know how to walk away. The thought of them walking away makes them actually keeps them up at night. Or if somebody abandons you or left you confused, they, 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 they think about that. Eight of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah. Ten, ten. Triple tens. Triple tens. Yeah. Somebody could have abandoned you and this could have been really painful. Maybe some of you guys tried to act like it was okay, but it wasn't. Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody here could be depressed, sad, Leo energy. Somebody could have been a little bit too overly optimistic about an outcome. 
that just didn't plan out the way they thought here, okay? What's this sun in reverse? The sun is your energy, by the way. Somebody could be feeling really tired, lethargic, very sleepy all the time. Somebody, what do you call that? Um, somewhere people just fall asleep out of nowhere. Somebody may have that. The sun in reverse. The magician. So somebody, Virgo, Gemini, energy, Mercury. Somebody here could be in the hair fine in reverse. This is like a divorce. This is like... This fucking Queen of Wands, bitch. Yeah, somebody's doing spell work, or they did. But the um, hero font in reverse is like corrupt systems. This is like hospitals, institutions. Some of you guys could be counselors, teachers, okay? This could be a church. But I just feel like somebody here went against their morals and their integrity for something here. Somebody was poorly influenced. And they don't realize it was the magician. like somebody played on someone's heartstrings the magician yeah six of pentacles yeah somebody's trying to manipulate the energies to get somebody to still give to them somebody's very codependent on somebody's money their energy their time somebody could have been breadcrumbing you or juggling you okay you could be finding out that somebody was given to somebody else or maybe you don't know this maybe you're in denial maybe you don't want to know that's fine sometimes you don't want to know but somebody could be getting put on child support as well Okay, and I'm just also seeing, um, yeah, something is just one-sided. Something's very transactional. So, yeah. Somebody's non-committal as well. Let's just tell you. Yeah, three of swords in reverse. Somebody's holding on to suppress anger, sadness from something here. Yeah old relationship the lovers gemini energy dealing with a gemini yeah page of wands so somebody could be fearing bad news in regards to a child or just bad news or somebody's just being pessimistic somebody doesn't really have much nice things to say because they're still harboring some type of resentment or pain from whatever happened between you guys okay this is seven cups yeah, six of wands. You got people that look up to you. People could be somebody could be watching you from fake pages. Okay, what's this six of wands? Yeah, this could be somebody that you have kids with or that has kids, or this could be like somebody from your past. You could have grown up with them. Yeah, some of you guys need to put the burdens down and just let this shit go. Let it go. What's this six of cups in the yeah, carry it, can't stand me. It's time to move forward, it's time to move on. Some of you guys could be um, biracial or dealing with somebody that is. There's gonna be different uh, adversities that are gonna come across your path, but you're gonna find you're gonna have to find a way around them. Discipline, structure, patience, full commitment, seeing something through fully till the wheels fall off. You got can't stand me energy here with the chariot. What's this page of wands in reverse? Yeah, five of swords. Somebody feels defeated. Somebody's losing sleep. Somebody's not healing. Yeah, somebody could have some type of injury and they're just not, or somebody could be on bed rest. Somebody here is having a lot of morning sickness, a lot of nausea, headaches. Somebody could be trying to um, play on somebody's intuition, their, their psyche here. Okay, by trying to project fear into their plans or just fear in general. Somebody's playing on somebody's inner child or someone's actual child. But just be careful. Ultimate love. Forgive others and yourself. Release past. Send love and light. Change the inner to change outer. Yeah, Aquarius. Your own path. Trailblazing brings the greatest achievement. Heart and mind aligned. Unconventionality. Authenticity. Yep, that sounds about you. And then we have crisis, restructuring life, blessing within, clearing space, bring solution, see deepest needs and emotions, limiting beliefs, subconscious beliefs, and pet progress. Check in with self, shadow work, rewire subliminals. Yeah, so some of you guys are doing some type of shadow work and we have surprise, okay, in a way that you wouldn't expect. Didn't we see, did we see that Wheel of Fortune at all here? Is it out here? But um, in a way that you, in a, in a way that you wouldn't expect, a gift from the universe, 
intense twist of fate eclipse news yeah so some of you guys are getting something you just don't see it the universe could be having it put on hold and delay because you got work to do and you got people around you who are jealous so you know you gotta be careful make sure you don't just blow through this or save or share this with just everybody tiger on the other side of fear is courage i feel like you guys are finding the courage to end things to put your foot down to really be in your emperor energy and or empress you got Hasma, enriched in blessings of protection. You guys are protected. Somebody else may not be, but you guys are protected. So it doesn't matter what somebody tries to do, you're protected. Anything connected to you is protected. Drum, dance to the beat of sacred rhythms. So some of you guys could be dancers or you may like to play the drums or your person does. And we have create a vessel for creativity, sensuality, and passion to bloom. So some of you guys need to work on your sacral chakra. Okay, we got lotus. Out of the murky waters, the soul rises and unfolds. Yeah, you guys are going through some type of shadow work, some death of the ego, whatever. We got release to create sacred space. So some of you guys do need to get, some of you guys need to declutter and get rid of old shit. And we got fish. Change is inevitable. Be in rent to adapt. So some of you guys are going through some type of major changes remain strong um you know some things are out of our control we do what we can and that's it and the universe will support us um the universe will support us along you know after that i'm a firm believer or god whoever you subscribe to Okay, so we have bouquet, compliments from an admirer. So you may have somebody that's watching you that wants to come forward and say something to you. They can find you really attractive, very ambitious, self-sufficient, okay? Smart, intelligent, all that. Nurturing, loving. They may like the way you think and how you carry yourself. We got four-leaf clover. They could be older than you or you're older than them. So for some of you guys, it is going to be an age difference. Four-leaf clover or some of you guys grew up with this person, whatever. Anyways, four-leaf clover, great and good fortune. Okay, so you guys have that. We got desk. Pay attention to your work. So again, head down, focus. We got wind chimes, peace and harmony. Okay. We got career. So some of you guys are stepping into a new career. We got horse, short journey. Some of you guys are going to take a short trip. And then we have boat, money or property, food and inheritance, winning or windfall. So this came out again for you guys about inheritance we saw that with the ten of pentacles and we saw it somewhere else so aquarius oh and then we have arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life so whatever you've been questioning you're on the right path you only you'll know that okay aquarius this was your reading like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye